Hello guys, how you doing? Assassin's Creed, we love it. You wouldn't be here if you didn't, and Ubisoft have made a surprise announcement that they're taking us back to where it all began. The origin of the Assassins. Yep, very, very original Ubisoft. You see, I want to talk today about what we know and the theories that it could all be. On May 16th, they announced via Instagram that there was a new era that was going to begin, and it's been confirmed at the E3 conference, which we have just seen with a trailer and gameplay and a release date of the 27th of October 2017. That's fantastic, that's coming out this year. We've met a new assassin called Bayek and his pet eagle companion. Unfortunately, it now looks like they've taken eagle vision out of the game because it's been scrapped for an actual eagle. Thanks, Ubisoft. However, we are in Egypt, which opens up a lot of doors for how incredible this game might be. We have the River Nile. We have pyramids. We have slaves, which, to be honest, guys, if, uh, if things work out how I think they might, there's going to be a mission about freeing them. So we might even find out how the pyramids were made, and Ubisoft has free room to do that, which is incredible. I'd also like to mention a Bible passage from Exodus 10, which is, Stretch out your hand over Egypt, so that the locusts swarm over the land and devour everything growing in the fields, everything left by the hail. Hmm. So we're in Egypt, and there's a Bible passage about swarms of locusts. Great! You know what, we may end up seeing this, and how it affects the game. Thank you, Ubisoft. But this wouldn't be surprising because I'd like to take a moment to talk about the big bloody snake we saw in the gameplay trailer. There's probably going to be a lot more mythical creatures where that came from. And I don't want to take down a bloody big snake, despite how awesome it looks. So another thing I did want to talk about today was fan fiction. In the original Assassin's Creed games, we were introduced to an alien race called the Isu, who lived on Earth before the human race, and there was a rebellion and a war, and now they're extinct and they live as a legend. You see, personally, I'd somehow like to think that the pyramids were temples that have been made to worship them that only the pharaohs know about. And then this is when Bayek gets involved and creates the Brotherhood to perhaps look after the pieces of Eden. Hang on though, there's no mention of the Templars. Yes, it may be the origin of the Assassins, but this may also be the origin of the Templars. Finally, giving us a taste of how this all bloody began. And again, as a massive Assassin's Creed fan, there's still no mention of the real world and why we're in Egypt. I know, I mean, I know it's pretty, but you know me, I love a good character driven story, but I want to know who this guy is. I want to know who Abstergo have captured to trace back the DNA trail to this era. Desmond, right, in my eyes, was a huge part of the beginning of this franchise, and in, in my head, I'd somehow like to be transported back to 2017, have a little rebellion between the Assassins and the Templars. This would make me so happy. Especially as I believe the Templars are still trying to take over the world. Am I not right? Now, I've been watching the gameplay footage, and from what we can see, yeah, we have an eagle that's being used to mark enemies, and then these enemies have levels, and then you can kill these enemies, pick up weapons, and in a result have a score rating. A system which we've seen before in games like Destiny and The Division. When you kill enemies, you gain XP, which is, again, an easy way to progress through the game. A lot easier than doing side missions all the time, might I add. And then when you level up, you gain ability points which can be used to purchase abilities. Yep, we have a skill tree, folks. You see, personally, I don't like skill trees. I just find it too much hassle, but, you know, that's my opinion. What is your opinion on skill trees? There's also a bizarre new thing called the Adrenaline Meter. Something which, from what I can see, is being used to take out bigger, badder, harder enemies, and you can probably fill it up by killing stuff and using the combo streak. I think. Ah! Something has created speculation on the World Wide Web, and that is the fact that there's no mini-map in the pre-alpha. Guys, it's the pre-alpha. In my opinion, I, I reckon Ubisoft have just taken it away because they're trying to hide something. There is probably something massive in this game that they don't want to spoil by putting the mini-map there. Or it's a bug, and they in fact haven't mastered how to use the mini-map yet. I don't know, there's options. So Assassin's Creed is coming out on the 27th of October this year on the new Xbox One X. Yeah, very original. Uh, the PS4 Pro, again, another very original name. And the PC, plus the downgraded systems like the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. And just a bog-standard personal computer. Is it ready yet? You know, I'm not entirely sure. See, they've moved Assassin's Creed from the Montreal studios to the US studios. And by the sounds of it, it sounds like they need more manpower to complete the game before the release date. But, they also probably have a bigger budget since the franchise did release the Assassin's Creed film with Michael Fassbender. 
The downside of this is that they've drawn in a whole new audience that is now expecting big things from the franchise, which means they don't want to muck it up, hence the move. Guys, what's your opinion on the new Assassin's Creed? Is it too soon, or do you reckon they'll pull something out of the bag and they'll make it amazing? I want to know your opinion on what the story might be, because I know I definitely have my opinion, and I'll be chatting to you about that in the comments if you do say something that I fully agree with or disagree with. As always, I hope you have enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a different one, but if you want more that look just like this, let me know in the comments. We're going to chat, we're going to have a great time, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all on the 27th of October where we can play some new Assassin's Creed and go back to the origin, pardon the pun, of the series. Guys, have a gorgeous one. Bye-bye.